from High both quality of them. indeed. So the uh, ladies are done for the day. And we're on to our final two matches now in recurve competition. This is the men's bronze medal match. And it will be Germany's Florian Kalun facing Denmark's, or I should say, excuse me, the Netherlands' Rick van der Ven. Once again, we'll give you the stats on Florian Kalun, 21 years old, ranked sixth on the World Cup circuit, fourth in the world. Started off the season in Nîmes, or ended the indoor season, I should say, in Nîmes by finishing fifth, then went outdoors, finished ninth, picked up five points at Shanghai, stage one, was 33rd in Medellin and was ranked 78th in the world after Columbia. So really wasn't on the radar screen, not the same way that Rick Vonderven was on the radar screen right from the get-go. But that win in Antalya for Florian Kalun certainly shot him up in the world rankings and got him here to the World Cup Finals where now he will battle Rick Vonderven, number one in the world on the World Cup Tour, that is, number three in the world of rankings overall. And so Rick van der Ven, who at one point has held all four European titles, outdoor, indoor, individual, and team. Arguably the finest recurve archer in Europe. Van der Ven this morning in the quarterfinals, a 6-2 win over Adrian Faber of Switzerland. And then lost a thrilling match with Brady Ellison in the semifinals. No shame in that. So Van der Ven to go first. <laughs> Trying to pick up the bronze medal here in Lausanne. pair of pinpoint shots to start off this match. So that's how it's going to be. Kalund with another 10. So a nine and they'll split a 10 and he wins. Jackpot for Florian Kloon, who hits all three right in the center of the target. Puts his stamp on that center ring and raises the bar and wins the first two set points of Florian Kloon with the early lead. Let's talk about his bow situation a little bit. I was gonna say he's He's gone back to the to the first bow, and it all seems to be fine. His equipment challenges, whatever they were, have um, been sorted out in the in the break. Going back to his semi-final match against Marcus de Almeida, Florian Kalun at one point went to his backup bow, and then we believe he went back to his first bow. So he switched a couple of times during that match, which he lost in straight sets to Marcus Dalmeda, 6-0. Of course, had to use his spare bow. We've mentioned that already during the course of our broadcast today. Had to use that spare bow in Antalya to secure the gold medal there over Kuban Chan. 9.7 laag. Kalund with the early 2-0 lead. And right now on a bit of a roll. That's four straight tens for Florian Kalun. Five in a row. He's got our attention.
And I'm sure the point is not lost on Rick Vondervan, who appears to have hit the line. Going for six straight tens. Germany's Florian Kalun. I spoke too soon. <laughs> and how quickly it can turn. So rather than winning that set, he's drawn that set. So. Now, if this was compound archery, those five straight tens. They would, they would count, for, count for more. For more. Yeah. But in the set system, which has its own advantages, all it buys him is 28 points, the two tens and the eight. Matches the two nines and the 10 by Rick Vonderven in that second set. And as Hilda Gibson mentioned, they split the set, tie in the set, split the points, and it's three to one now in favor of the German archer going for the bronze medal here at his very first World Cup Finals. Von der Ven. To shoot first. The man who finished fourth in London at the Olympic Games just missed a bronze medal there. Defeated Im Dong Hyun of Korea, but then lost the bronze medal to Dai Zhao Zhang in a shoot off. Hoping not to lose out on a bronze medal opportunity here in Switzerland. Kalund, who started his day with a 6 4, five set win over Pierre Plion of France. <laughs> Par has been raised for Florian Kalund. But typically when that's yeah. happened today, we've seen people raise their performance level as well. And of course, Florian Kalund does that. Tied at 19 now in the third set. Final shot of this set. <laughs> And Van der Ven is on his game right now. Finding that sweet spot with a pair of tens to end this third set. But Kalun matches it. Yeah, Florian seems to certainly come out with uh, you know, new vigor um, following his uh, semifinal match. After being swept by Marcus Dalmeda, 6 0, Florian Kalun locked in a battle right now with Rick Vonderven, and he's holding Vonderven at bay right now as they've split the last two sets. And the score goes to 4 to 2 now in favor of Florian Kalun of Germany. A win over Pierre Plion in the quarters. A loss to Marcus Dalmeda in the semis. What will it be here in the bronze medal match? And in these bronze medal matches, only one's going to go home with a medal. You get to the gold medal match, you're assured of a, go of a medal. You're not assured of which color it will be, but you know you're going home with something. Neither one of these men wants to go home empty-handed. High angle shot of the left-hander. From the left side, Rick Vonderband of the Netherlands. The Dutchman deals a nine. Nine. Just does catch the line. And that's all he needed for the nine. The shadow's starting to grow here. Clean up the round, oh. Here you go. Van der Ven, hoping to win one of these sets outright. And he's got an opportunity now. If he does, he can tie the match up at four all. A 10 right here would salt this away, at least this set and tie the match at four apiece. And a 10 right here from Florian Kalund. 
means they split the set again. No, not going to happen. So the set does go to Rick Vonderven, 28-27. Yep. So it's all square again. It's all about grit. It's all about hanging in there, sticking around, hanging around, getting to a point where at the end of the match or any sporting event, you make that play, you make that shot. I mean, these guys are shooting at the, the highest level. Um, to the extent that you're waiting for the final arrow to know is it going to be, can they equal or win the set? It's, and just one point to making all the difference. Very close. Now it comes down to a question of who's going to blink first. Although it'll be tough to tell. <laughs> They've got <laughs> those dark sunglasses on. The dark sunglasses preferred by Florian Kalund as Elena Richter. Watches from the grandstands. Rick van der Ven going with the orange glasses. So many of the archers seem to have gone to this year. And they help him spot the center of the target. Great shot. He had a bead on that X and put it right in the middle. Kalund off the mark, just barely. Advantage, Van der Ven. Two more tens, and the bronze is his. There's the second one. Kalund trying to play catch up. And nine's not going to help. And he knows. Von der Ven for the bronze. A 10 right here gives him the set and the match. Ah, 10 oh set match. It's over. Bronze on, medal man. goes to the Netherlands. Rick Von der Ven coming from behind to win this match against Germany's Florian Kalun, who has to be disappointed. Florian had the early lead, two to nothing, still led three to one after the second set, four to two after the third set. But Rick Van der Ven able to finally win the fourth set and the fifth set, and he comes back to win it six to four, and he will go home with the bronze medal. So although Florian came out and did those five tens to start with, you know, that flurry, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was the beginning of the match. The match isn't over because of the set system, and, and Nick van der Ven was able to come back into the match. I would suppose some archers might get flustered seeing their opponent do that.